Hello everyone, Lone Wolf Rick, Wolf Buddy AB. Hi guys. And we're roaming around Las Vegas today taking a look at his stuff. And we were driving down Boulder Highway and we came across Samstown and we thought we'd pull in here real quick. And we'll show you the outside of the property. Uh, they do not allow, it's like filming and the gaming area. But we're going to show the outside of the property and then walk in and show the atrium area real Try quick. Try to sneak as much as we can. Yeah, absolutely. So there's the marquee board. This location, Rick pointed out, is actually called Sunrise Manor, Nevada, which uh, I had never heard of that before. So. Yeah, it's an un un unincorporated, kind of like Enterprise and you know all those other little areas, Paradise, Nevada. Yep. You know, it's all these unincorporated areas that you know want to hang on to the name, and yep. it's Las Vegas. You know, it's on the corner of Flamingo and Boulder Highway, five one 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 Boulder Highway. It opened in. April of 1979. April 1st, as a matter of fact. They fooled everybody, didn't they? <laughs> they showed it. They have uh, about almost 650 rooms here. The theme is Old West style, as you're going to see. Gaming space is about 120,000. Yeah, it's a nice sized casino. It really is, mm -hmm. if you've never been here before. Inside, I know they have a movie theater uh, with... Uh, number of screens in there. Bingo, TGI Fridays, a Roberto's Taco Shop, McDonald's, Dunkin Donuts, Angry Butcher Steakhouse, but we're gonna kind of see for ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. Last time it was renovated was 2007, so we might be looking at a little bit older spot in here. I know that I've been in here one time and they have a beautiful area in the middle, so we want to sneak a peek. We'll take a look at this caboose here. I'm talking about a train caboose and <laughs> nothing else, guys. Hold on here. So in 2000, they had an 86 million expansion and renovation. I remember that. They expanded everything. Yeah. They added more hotel rooms. They added it to the casino, more restaurants. Okay. And they have 18 theaters at this hotel. And I think that was one of the things they expanded too. They go to 18 screens. Crazy. You know, that's one thing I hope that does recover. You know, is the movie industry. You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, movie companies like AMC, obviously, a Cinemark, and those mm -hmm. those are big companies. But there's so many independent, you know, movie theaters around the country that uh, you know small businesses and they yeah. just struggle a little bit to you know to get people in it's like after being shut down for a year so I hope oh. everything recovers especially for them but think about what we have now Disney Hulu um, I mean all the different you just you just sit on the couch yeah, and Netflix. pop your own popcorn and yeah and it's, you know and even, just just even direct TV ATT TV they all have access to the movies now. right and you know, and I get that. It's like I really do. It, 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 let's go under this French thing over here. What's that called? I'm not gonna say it. It's the porta cachere. <laughs> I call it valet. Pick up and drop off. <laughs> we had a big discussion over that. It's like you know, the thing. You know. He's trying to be all fancy, guys. <laughs> you know, ever since she did that video from the French restaurant. <laughs> Check it the, out, Roselli. <laughs> Roselli's restaurant. The Roselli's she La did the video. Cafe. So now it's like everything is porte cachere. Yeah, so he wants to make fun now. Everything is wee uh, is, uh, oui, wee. Oui. I had French in seventh grade and that was it. So realistically, this is the ballet area. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of like put you on hold real quick. And we're going to take a look at the uh, um, the area inside here. All right, everybody. So we're taking a look here at the atrium area. This is called Mystic Falls Park. I like it. I'm going to go see if some Mystic Falls on me. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a little mountain lion thing there. Actually, this is the prettiest registration I think I've seen in a very long time. I know, is that nuts or what, huh? And 
And of course, you know me, I love the sound of waterfalls falling, so. And down that area, we have the movie theaters and the pool and an arcade. You would think this would be my kind of joint then, huh? <laughs> An arcade and waterfalls? Holy cow. This looks like either a buffet or steakhouse. I think, so. I think this is the buffet right here, if I remember right. Okay. Because I know you could go to the buffet and you could overlook the atrium area, so. Okay. Or I'm sorry, the Mystic Falls area. Mystic Falls. <laughs> it has a bar in the center. Oh Obviously, to do a show there, so you can clear the area for show operators. Yeah. So I'm sure it's a light show. Yeah. So you can see everything up there in the evening time. I haven't been here for a few years, so... Those are a lot, sm those are a lot smaller than the Boulder City uh, <laughs> they are Rams, lot huh? <laughs> Yeah. We might have to look that up and try to come back in the evening time or whatever, so. We know his head name, but... <laughs> and we've got a barrel over here on the other side. Could you imagine having a room, like say right there, and the waterfalls just coming down? You'd sleep like a baby, wouldn't you? I wonder if you can hear it because I know that the other windows are open. That's true. But yeah, I bet you can hear a little bit. I, I bet you really can. Neat at nighttime. There you go. This little deer moves his ears. But he moves one of his ears anyway. There it is. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. 22 ounce, 43. Could you imagine? I could almost see two of those probably. Oh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, here. Market price. Lobster tails. A ribeye and lobster tail. Oh, man. Even a fried chicken sounds good right now. Prime rib up top there. 20 ounce prime rib. Yeah. Some fried chicken. Buttered milk fried. Where have we heard that one before, huh? <laughs> we'll check out our video. We made some buttermilk milk. Uh, Chicken strips. Chicken strips. Homemade chicken strips. It's Butter our first milk. Sunday RV video cooking video. Every Sunday. It's like uh, one of our cooking videos will be posted. So check them out. Maybe you'll find a menu that you'd like to use. Yeah, they've changed from the time I was here, it's like, because it, it used to be called, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it wasn't the Angry Butcher Steakhouse. Oh. Have a gift store here? The logo shop? This is a really 
hotel. It really is. And think about it, the last time they did renovation was it 15 years yeah. ago and how gorgeous it looks. Yeah. And it's another hotel where you can spend a lot of time here. I mean, yes, you can go over to the Strip in about 15, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. But in here you have, a, you know, your swimming pool, you have your bowling, you have a movie theater. Right. A nice steakhouse. Gambling. Some peach pork chops. That sounds good too. Yeah. Alright everybody, so we're getting back into the casino area, so we're gonna put you on pause just for a second. I have the TGI that. Right? We'll be back everybody. Alright, so we're taking a look here at the food court which is on the other side of the atrium. It's like we went to the left and the fork on the road tells us if we come to the right, there's a McDonald's right there. Right here is a Subway and Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if it goes all the way through, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll see if, like, if it circles back around to those places. I think it's going to circle around these rocks here on the other side though, but uh... No, so it's stopped. So you got the Head Express. We have a McDonald's and a, the Roberto's Taco Shop. Roberto's Tacos here in Las Vegas Valley is a uh, a real favorite. It's like of the locals here. There's Roberto's and there's Fostos. They have both family. And they also have uh, habaneros. That's a new one too. Yeah. Is that family owned also? Family owned and it's now becoming a chain only in Las Vegas. Oh wow, very cool. Yeah. We have to try that one out too. I think Roberto started out in San Diego. I'm telling you everybody, it's like, you know, we would be 300 pounds, right? I would be 300 pounds. A lot of it would still be like 110. And uh, <laughs> if we <laughs> ate every place that we ever said that we were going to go eat at. We're working on it though. <laughs> I like that food court area. It's like the seating for all three areas. It's like, you know, kind of a central seating. So. This is all the areas here where uh, Boyd Group is uh, located at all across the country. So this is more of the James. fast food places. That's an ice cream parlor over there. We've got a Subway. We've got the Dunkin' Donuts. Donut sounds good right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> we should probably buy one and take it out to be I know, I think so. See if it takes the edge off. We have the Subway. We've got this uh, arcade right here that we're going to quickly take a look at. Oh, I heard a uh, air hockey thing going right there. Okay. This is very cool. Here's the movie theater right here. See Sam's Town Live? There's the arena or their showroom right there. I can smell the popcorn all the way over here. Look at that big box of popcorn that buys stuff. 18 theaters. Ooh. A couple of claw games for me to lose some money in. Very cool. Gonna... Alright everybody, so we just left the Porta Cacher area. <laughs> the valet pick up and drop off. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video. It's like uh, like I said, a we'll lot of... we back for sure. It's like we'd only been in like one time and I had been in years since, like, since I've been in there. And uh, it was so cool and so nice and... Yeah. Uh, everything seems to be open. We're not sure about the buffet because it is Monday, but everything was open inside, which is awesome. Right. 
It's like the restaurants were open, like the, the, like AB said. It's like you know the buffet was still. It looked dark, so I don't know if it's only only open on the weekends or. We missed the donut whatever, because they were on a lunch break. I know we were disappointed. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. We appreciate you all joining us very very much. Uh, it's a Boyd Gaming property, so they do not allow any gaming of uh, filming inside the casino area. So we apologize for that. So we got as much as we actually could. So yeah. uh, we're walking back towards this caboose. The train, guys. The train. <laughs> and it's like, and, uh, and we appreciate you all very much. Everybody who watches our videos, thank you so much. It's like... Uh, yeah, thank you, viewers. Thank you, subscribers. But if you're a viewer, we hope you subscribe soon. And we hope every Sunday we're doing a cooking video and we hope it's like that you will actually take the time it's like to tune in yeah, and us. watch those because we have so much fun doing them it's just family fun in an rv and we cook up whatever we have from the cupboards absolutely our first one we dropped yesterday uh, was uh homemade chicken strips chicken yeah. fingers and uh we had a really nice meal and uh, like I said, they're going to drop every Sunday, so check them out, okay? Yeah, and everything so far has tasted delicious. And we're not just saying that. We'll let you know if we cook something and it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> yeah, she will definitely let me know because she said, you suck. <laughs> no. This is no good. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Make sure you check the links below and we'll give you all the information on Samstown. Hey, thank you all very much. Y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Stay healthy. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.